What's going on? Why are you calling me out here? I don't know. Bailey said there's something exciting this week. Here's our chickens finally produced a baby all on their own. No incubators. Our first hatch. Oh my gosh. How many? I've only seen the one so far. Um. I hear more. Yeah, I hear more. Watch out, Mama's gonna be very protective for her child. Those are our meat boys. They are gonna become sausage and lamb chops and rack of lamb and you name it, euros. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. What's up, big guy? These are our three butcher lambs. They're all going to butcher. We may end up doing one of them ourselves. What kind of lambs are these, Ange? They are Suffolk. 100%? Uh, they have a little hamp in them. Okay, so these are our three meat sheep. Are they a dual purpose sheep? Or are they just meat? Uh, for us, they're just meat. And they are... Suffolk. Suffolk. Pretty cool looking little sheep. They're not as big as the one that we just picked up, the ram we got. What's up, guys? So there's the big boy. There's our new ram. His name was Rexy, or Rex. What's up, pretty boy? He's already been hard at work. He went after one of the girls. So one of them is pregnant, we're pretty sure, with Todd's baby. Yep. Which that would be a... What are, the, what are those over there again? Cheviot. Cheviot. So it'll be a Cheviot and a baby doll mix. Yep. And then one's going to be a Cheviot and whatever he is, uh, Texel? He is a Texel hemp mix. Uh, he came from a 4-H girl that unfortunately she won the blue ribbon with him this year at fair, but she was not able to take him to auction because of COVID. He's uh... He's got a really good build. I love... His haunches, or whatever you call it. <laughs> He's got back. Probably paid a little more for him than I should, but, you know, it's for the 4-H kids. I, I did not feel bad about doing it. He's halter trained. He's very tame. He is such a sweet boy, too. He's getting along good with everybody else. Sniffing the, the goats a little. Goku's not having that, but they're, they're becoming buddies. His integration's done pretty well. So then we've also got two other ones that we haven't talked about yet. And what are these? I, I can never keep track of what we've got. Oh, oh you Hi, hush. Tika. Tika, hush. So they are a, a Dorper and I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Katadin, Katadin. I've heard it pronounced both ways. They're a mix of those two. Um, they're not getting as big as I was hoping, but they, they sure are cute to look at. I don't mind letting them hang out in our yard. <laughs> Hang on, no yard. Well, hopefully, they're not just pets. Hopefully, these guys get a little bit bigger. How old, how old were they when we got them? We've had them for what a month now, a little over a month. Yeah, they they were spring babies, so they should be you know seven eight months old. Um, they Ho are a hair breed. Hopefully, they get bigger. Sure, are cute. They still have their tails too. Yes, you don't dock tails on hair braids. I did not know that. And we're recording this time. So with these sheep, we're gonna let these little ones grow up a little and hopefully see if they put out some babies that we wanna eat. Yeah. Um, all these are for meat. We're not, uh, we don't have any plans to do hair right now, you know, to- You mean wool. Wool, you know what I meant. We don't plan to do the animals. We don't, we don't plan to, what do we, I'm most definitely not spinning wool, so. There you go. That's kind of what I was yeah. getting at is, that's not something we're interested in doing. That's Shearing them something. and selling the wool, we might do that though. Yeah. I don't know, just depends on how much of a hassle that's I certainly be. don't have time for it, so. Yeah. So the whole reason you guys are here, not the whole reason, but the title got you, I'm sure. Um, we were reached out to by someone who saw our episode on Homestead Rescue. We got an email and this is the email. It says, hey guys, I happened to have Homestead Rescue on, to, on TV today and heard North Idaho mentioned. 
I looked up and saw the cabin I built out there getting rescued. Pretty dang cool. My family and I built that original cabin there in 1979 to 1980. Not a hunting cabin, but a family of six lived there for years. It was supposed to be a temporary shelter until we could build a house. You probably know how that goes. So I was a little surprised to see it still there. Attached is an old photo of it from 82 or 83, I think, for your interest. I'll put that right there somewhere. Pretty darn cool to, to talk to the guy that actually built this cabin. It's very cool. Um, I'm, a, I'm a history buff. I love you know history and, and researching things and digging into stuff and do a little investigative. You know, Building this cabin, I've got to tear apart layer by layer and see things. It's starting to snow a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Go figure. North Idaho. We died. Gotten so many different versions of history on this place from people that used to live in the area or knew somebody that used to. And I mean, so. Neighbors that talked to neighbors that were here before them, that they heard it this way. Stories kind of changed. You know, we were told that it was a brother that owned this one and another brother that owned the other one. And they lived on the cabins. One of them burnt down and the family lived in the upper one is what we were told. Yeah. Apparently, the family lived in this one, if that's even the same family. If there was even a brother, who knows? <laughs> yeah, if there's even a brother. I don't know. Um, I gave the guy my email, or my phone number. Um, he had my email, duh. Anyway, I gave him my phone number. Please, if you're watching, I hope you reach out to us again and call me, because I would love to just pick your brain on a lot of this. In the photo, where our chicken coop currently is, it shows a like a fence that they built for like a garden. I love that fence. Uh, I'm gonna recreate it. That yeah. was that was pretty darn cool. So, I lo if you have more pictures, send them to me. I want them. <laughs> I want them all. We <laughs> love we love this place. We felt we came out here to uh, look at it before we bought in the winter. It, I love the cabin. Yeah, I do too. We saw so much potential with it. So and I, and I always said that you know it was we saw it, we thought it was built in like three stages and it looks like it was built in one, yeah. but it looked like it was built in two or three stages or at least that's what we thought. And I wanted to put my mark on this, too. So it's kind of neat. You know, we, we've got to do that. We're, we're still doing that. I mean, like he said, <laughs> he's still building. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope that uh, I hope you reach out to me, Mr. Anonymous person that reached out to me. Uh, <laughs> until next time, guys. Let's start living your dreams. Bye. 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 <laughs>